you'll be alright. Someone decided to have a 30 minute power nap and then be wide awake this morning. Luckily I managed to get ready and make myself a coffee and scoff some cereal down. So we're just having some playtime. Anyway, welcome back to another vlog. I really would like to... We smiling now. She's just starting to learn how to smile, <laughs> which is just wonderful to see. So I really want to get into a bit of a routine with Emily. And I say routine, it's not going to be strict at all. Emily's literally six weeks today. We're just gonna play it by ear, but I want some kind of structure more for just day to day, knowing when I can plan things, knowing when I need to do things with her. And obviously we'll adapt it if we need to, won't we? Yay. <laughs> like today, <laughs> today is day one and we've already had to slightly adapt it, which is fine. Uh, actually, we're, we're sort of on track because she went down to sleep a little bit later. Um, so she was meant to be napping from 8.30 till 10.30. She napped from 9 till 9.30 or um, like 9.30 till just before 10 sort of thing. So about half an hour. It's 10.28 and at 10.30 it's wake up change feed and a bit of tummy time. So that's what we're doing now. She's not whistling for food yet. So I'm hoping to be able to, when she wakes up, is to do this like playtime with her and then give her the feed ready for when she goes back down for a sleep. But I know sometimes she wakes up hungry depending on what she's feeling. So sorry if it's a little bit darker in here. I do keep these, this room darker just because of the, the warmth, the heat. But today is actually a cool day, which is quite refreshing. I did have a dress on. I've put my jeans on top on because it's a little bit colder. So I've got, I've kind of made a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a routine for her. Like I said, it's not it's not strict in any way, shape or form. But I also kind of want to try and get into a little bit of a routine for myself, a little bit of normality for me. I really start focusing on uh, just a bit of self-care. I don't want to lose myself. I did make some notes the other day. And I just want to talk about it in this vlog. It's amazing how much she's changed just in this last week alone. She's just perfect. So ideally, I'd like to wake up by seven o'clock every day. I do get up at five o'clock to express anyway, but I want to get up at seven ready for sorting Emily out at half seven, but sometimes she wakes up a bit earlier anyway. And um, the idea is to get up, uh, do another express, get ready, have my greens, my probiotic and my collagen shot, which I've not managed to do any of them today. Um, so I still need to take my greens, probiotic and collagen shot. I will show you them in a minute. Bedtime, once I've sorted Emily out, the idea is to do my last express at 11 and then get into bed just after 11, make sure I take my vitamins and also make sure I'm moisturizing. I really need to look after my skin. It is so dry. <laughs> and I don't know if that's just from like, um, expressing and like creating breast milk and just sucking the moisture out of my out of my body i don't know how it exactly works but i do need to make sure i'm moisturizing every day on sundays i really would like to have a bubble bath a hair and a face mask and i think that's doable as long as dan's home and saying that when i put her down for her last nap before bedtime last night i was able to have a bath it was a very very quick bath but i was able to have a bath where's your little feet going your little feet going but yeah sundays definitely i want to have that bubble bath and just have even if it's just like 10 minutes me time perfect uh, and sundays non-negotiable fresh bedding i want to make sure i change the bedding every sunday put a fresh bedding on nothing like having bubble bath bit of self-care fresh pajamas fresh bedding on a sunday night perfect i i used to do that and i don't want to lose that with being a mum, so that's the plan there. The idea is on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, I want to do the yoga or Pilates. Have I managed to do that this week? No. Am I going to try and do yoga or Pilates today? Yes, it is Friday, so yes, I'm going to try and do one of them. But in a minute, once um, Emily's had her next feed, I'm going to take, we're gonna go out for a walk with Luna, go for a long walk and hopefully she'll fall asleep then. And if she stays asleep when I come home, I can do it then. And that's another thing, daily, I want to uh, walk daily, make sure I'm getting out of the house every single day. We've managed that so far this week. 
eat fish twice a week. I think I read somewhere that that's really good for you anyway, but really good if you're breastfeeding or something. So, and I want to make sure one of them is like a salmon, like an oily fish or something like that. Only caffeine once a day is my morning coffee, no other caffeine after that. And also SVF daily. I definitely fell off the bandwagon with putting on SVF, but I went to Boots, I think it was on Tuesday, and I did pick up some SVF and I have been putting it on daily. Um, my only my only issue is is obviously I put makeup on over the top and they tell you to reapply SPF. How do you reapply it throughout the day with makeup? Like, I know you can get some of those mist ones, but then I've heard that those mist ones aren't exactly good for you either. So I'm a bit like I don't know, but at least we're trying. <laughs> so that's what I've got down so far, and I think as I kind of go through the uh, the motions of self care and everything that I'll probably add a little bit more to that but I, I didn't want to go like too extreme because it needs to be realistic it needs to be practical with a newborn I've also been looking at my style so it, I think that's the video that went up before this one so if you want to go check out like, trying to find my style in postpartum yeah. then you can definitely do that but it's definitely an ongoing thing like I said I've whacked on just uh, jeans and a white tee today but I don't think you can go wrong with that kind of outfit but in saying that I do want to be a bit more mindful with my spending habits we have been spending a little bit are you moving this one yes with being on maternity leave I just want to be a little bit more mindful of spending so I've bought a couple of things I do need to return a couple of things to M&S and H&M but I think after that it's right let's wear what's in my wardrobe let's make do with what's there i think i'm set up for summer in terms of clothing so hopefully we're going to be all right that department i think and then we can just review it as we come to autumn i've had hiccups twice already today <coughs> bless you bless you <coughs> oh bless you we're a right pair today. I'm still trying to get out and back in the garden and do some bits, but it just takes time. I did have to go out in the front garden and deadhead my roses, but I had to chop off a lot of branches because it's, they've got really bad black spot this year. And I think it's because of all that rain that we had. It's just done my roses no good. But then my neighbor across the road, his front garden is full of pink roses and they all look beautiful. So I might have to ask him what he puts on. It's not or if it's just because of the type of rose. These roses, the iceberg roses, they're meant to be disease resistant. I don't know, but yes, I had to chop them back. But I would like to go to the garden centre this weekend, possibly Sunday, because I need to put some plants near my front door. So I need to search up shade living plants, ideally. And if you are a new mum or a mum and you've got any self-care tips for postpartum, please do put them in the comments below. I'd love to read upon what your tips and tricks are or what you feel like have really really helped you just kind of look after yourself in postpartum. Emily has finally gone down for a nap. Hopefully she'll sleep longer than, than half an hour but we'll see. One of the things I forgot to add to my list was drinking at least three of these a day. I'm definitely not drinking enough water at the moment. I need to up my water intake with expressing. So I just use the probi probiotics from Free Soul. Just take one of them a day. I take vitamins in the evening. So vitamins for like breastfeeding and just for like good health. And then I've got Free Soul collagen as well. It's definitely an acquired taste. It's quite sweet, I think. But I'm kind of used to the taste now, so it's not too bad. And then these, this is the greens that I have, FS greens. Uh, and I actually don't mind the flavour of this. I just drink it all in one go, pretty much. And it's absolutely fine. If it's like ice cold water, it's quite refreshing. Bottoms up. And another thing I'm trying to do is keep on top of washing. Especially now I have baby clothes to wash. And so far I've been doing, I've been doing quite well at keeping on top of it. Even started ironing clothes. Who am I? So if Emily's asleep and I've done everything else, if the washing is dry, I'll actually get the iron and the iron board out and just put some, rather than sitting down and washing the UV, 
I'll put something, I'll still put something on TV like on YouTube or something but I'll try and be productive by ironing clothes in that time rather than just sitting on my bottom. Not going to lie, sometimes I do just like to sit down and just have that, that moment of um, just relaxing if you can call it that. Playing with Luna because uh, I do try and you can see in the background. Uh, give her attention when Emily's asleep and when Emily's awake as well. She's not feeling left out. She went to the groomers yesterday and she looks so good. Hey little fluff ball. Yeah, she did a good job, didn't she? Cozy's are nice and tidy. Yeah. It's like, leave me alone. I'm trying to go to sleep. Also, our flooring for the kitchen and dining room is here. And I think we're getting it installed in August. And also, the tiles for our splash bag. Our painter and decorator is going to come over and do the splash bag. Going to do the flooring. And then we can work on this part of the room, the dining room. So the idea is probably getting rid of this table and chairs and building a bench seat in here. I want to put mirrors on this wall. I'll show you now on screen what I kind of want it to look like. The only thing I said to Dan is if this was meant to be the snug area, if I had known that we were going to be putting the dining room in here, I would have put hanging lights, but never mind, it's fine. But the idea is mirrors on the back wall with bench seating and nice long table. And then I don't know if we'll put chairs or another bench in, whatever gives us the most seating space. And I think that works better because then there's still good access to the door for the garage, which will eventually be the utility and downstairs toilet. But that's a long way off because we need to replace the roof and everything. That's a project for another year, definitely. So we need to save up the pennies for that one. Um, so the computer's going, that's why I bought a laptop and then everything else is going. But I said to Dan, as long as it's all done before Christmas, because we are hosting Christmas this year, I'll be happy. We still need to get the painting finished in here and put the doors on. We have got the doors, they're just in the back room. But we're waiting for the carpeting to be finished upstairs and then we'll get a joiner in to hang all the doors because they're really heavy doors and we're not putting a door in the kitchen we want it quite open at some point we will probably just get a little staircase situation to put in here heading into a bit of a home update and this room i think i've mentioned many times before is not getting done until god knows when whenever we've got the funds to do it because we need to replace the roof and but this will be the snug area and we've bought enough flooring so it runs all the way through and then we'll replace ripping out this door and window. Can't quite figure out if I want to put French doors in there or if I want to put bifolds. I'm not sure yet. So I finally got around to sorting out my beans and my tomatoes. I've moved them because I'll get more sun here. And I've also got the strawberries. Sorted out these as well. And uh, see the carrots poking through and the mints dried out a bit so I've just given that a really good drink and potatoes are apparently meant to cover the foliage but I'll know for next time but I've already got some potatoes from this so it still works. Pumpkins over here I've just given all of this a good water too I need to get another pot for the raspberries so I can plant that up. The idea is when the garden's done this will be the planting space for the veggie garden. Obviously at the moment as you can see it is um, overgrown but these hydrangeas. Look how beautiful that is. Blimey. I've been having one of those mornings and this just sums it up. Just dropped my blueberries absolutely everywhere. <laughs> to hold off today so I'm going to go out for a walk. It is in the afternoon but it's a lot cooler so it should be all right for both Emily and Luna. I haven't managed to do a workout but I have managed to cook dinner. Emily's just woken up from a nap so she's just having a little bit of playtime and then she's gonna have a bath and then get ready for her night routine. I always wonder how she goes back down but she does. I think by the time she's had a little bit of play, had a bath and a feed it just settles back down and gets into that night routine doesn't it pudding? Hey. Hey. Yeah.
But yeah, it's quite nice getting into this little uh, routine. We've been doing it for a couple of days now and it just seems to be working really nicely. And Luna likes it too, I think. Don't, don't give her the ball. She can't, she can't pass that to you yet. <laughs> When she's a bit older, she'll like nudge toys in her direction and I'm just like, no, she can't play with you yet, put him. Never mind. I think this is meant to be a sleep suit, but it's footless, so I kind of treat it like an outfit, especially for days when we are just at home. Cute it is. So cute. Bless you. Bless you. do a food shop in a minute and then today we're actually going to Dan's brother's house for lunch. I don't know what we're having. Maybe a barbecue? It's a little bit overcast today but we've had a very lazy morning so Emily was sleeping on me in bed and we just decided to chill out so we're going out a bit later than we would have liked. We like to go out quite early on a Saturday morning do the food shop but obviously it's very different now with a newborn. We can't always get out of the house exactly when we want to. You and me will be alright We're off to the garden centre this morning because I want to get some plants to put in pots by the front door. So I've just moved one of the bigger pots next to one that was already there. And I want to just get a slightly smaller pot so I've got a combination of three pots. I've been looking at shade loving plants because it is quite a shaded area. And because it's Sunday, it's just going to be a bit of a homey gardening day. Very chilled, a bit of tidying. I want to do some tidying in the living room. I've already taken my probiotic, my FS greens. I need to take my collagen, so I'll take that with me. And drink more water, just not drink enough water tomorrow. I always find that if I'm out and about, I just really slack in the drinking water area, so I need to do more of that today. garden as you would have seen and I'm so happy with how it came together. I've never done like shade containers before. There's maybe one plant that might not thrive in there but we'll, we'll try it, we'll test for it and we can always pop out and put something else in there. But I've never really been a fan of like shade containers but I need shade containers in that spot because it literally just gets a little bit of sun in the morning and then that's it because of where it's tucked into the corner. But I'm actually really happy with how it came out so hopefully I'll remember to water them and they'll do really well. But now I've got some herbs I want to put into my herb planter and um, we also put up a trellis for my climbing rose and it just looks so good um, but now i need to put we've got some herbs i need to put them in here but i think i need to put out the spinach and some of the lettuce and then i need to reseed some spinach and reseed some lettuce because they're they've outgrown the cells now so they need eating basically but here are my herbs so we've got some basil we've got some thyme um, we've got rosemary and we've also got some parsley so i'm going to pop them into the container now down for a nap with Dan and he's watching the football so although I don't normally have a bath this early on a Sunday I figured it's the perfect time to do it because Dan's just sat on the sofa watching TV with Emily and it means that he can then have like he can do all of his bits later on while I watch Emily so I'm going to strip the bed because non-negotiable fresh bedding on a Sunday is just the nicest thing to get into on a Sunday evening. I'm going to have a bath, do hair mask, face mask, have a nice soap. And then I'm going to do some tidying up, all being well. Between uh, feeding Emily and everything, then we should be able to get a couple of bits done. But I feel like it's been a nice, a nice Sunday so far. And it's been nice that I've managed to focus on like one of my hobbies, gardening, and just 
spend even just like 45 minutes to an hour on that. I think it's just little things like that that help you to not lose yourself in the postpartum journey. I've had a lot of mums say that they do lose themselves and I can see how easy that can be done and I think it really does depend on how supportive your like network is around you to what you can actually then achieve and do. So like when my mum comes over, she'll have Emily, I, I tidy up and stuff like that and then when Dan's home and we like tag team it sort of thing and it just works really nicely. I definitely don't understand how people say nap when the baby naps so other than at night time like I just don't, there's just too much to be done no matter how tired you are. And I'm not a day napper anyway. I really struggled to nap in the day when I was pregnant. I only napped a couple of times that was because I was exhausted. But I feel like I'm just used to being exhausted now. The front garden, like I said, is coming together really nicely. And I've ordered a new number plaque because uh, Dan suggested that we get a new number plaque. So I've ordered a new one of them. And I've ordered a post box on the wall underneath it because when we replace our front door, I'd like to get one that doesn't have a letter box in it. Dan took down some of the old things that had been on the walls, like little statues and stuff that were just on the house when we moved. And we've been in this house for uh, coming up to two years. <laughs> we still hadn't taken them down. So it was nice to take those down. So I feel like we've had a bit of a productive day today. And when I'm in the bath, I'm going to look at ordering some bark for the front garden because there's not enough down to suppress the weeds and the weeds are crazy at the moment so but i would need to order like i think just a big bag of bark uh, or mulch or something because the bags that you get from the garden centers they just don't go like far enough and we'd end up having to get loads and loads of bags so it, i think it would just actually be cheaper to just buy one of those big grab bag ones and then whatever we have left i'll store in the garden for when i can use out in the garden or in plant pots and whatnot so that's what i'm going to do while i'm in the bath um, always try and be productive with any time that i have okay i have had a wonderful bubble bath and face mask hair mask feeling refreshed i haven't put gradual tan on yet i'll be later on because uh, it's like a moisturizer before bed it's just like a of gradual tanner which is really nice and i think i will do my nails later on as well they just need touching up i'm gonna put some comfies on and crack on with a couple of little bits probably let my hair dry naturally so yes feeling so refreshed feeling good so i need to tidy the kitchen and one of the ways i like to make tidying less of a chore because i'm not one of those people that loves tidying is put music on. I do need to get a radio for the kitchen so I can put the radio on. It's just not something I've bought yet, so I just put Spotify on my phone. And yeah, I feel like just having a tidy space doesn't look at the moment. Just my, it contributes to self care because tidy space, tidy mind. I feel a lot calmer, a lot more relaxed. So let's get our tidy on. to tidy the kitchen, sterilise everything, tidy the living room, hoover it downstairs, hoover upstairs, make the bed, get ready myself and have breakfast. It's just one of those magical mornings. <laughs> when she fell asleep in my arms and I was like, oh, if I put her down, she's going to wake up straight away. Um, and she didn't. I was like, right, go, go, go. And I managed to, like I said, have breakfast myself, which is so I'm thinking just a little bit of concealer and mascara today. But in all honesty, I can't be bothered with makeup. I put my hair in a bun last night thinking I was going to get some really pretty like waves. Just brushed it out. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Not pretty waves at all. I'm thinking we might go to the shop today. So I really want to try and get the bathroom finished this week. But you'll see all of that in another, probably the next vlog, which will be more of like a doing stuff in the home vlog. And then that will be another room ticked off, which will be great. 
I looked at Bark last night, like mulch for the front garden, for the flower beds. Why is it so blooming expensive? Dams that all, I'll have a look elsewhere because I won't be able to get it from somewhere else for a bit cheaper. I've left that one with him to look at, but we do need to put some down because I can't. I just don't have the time to keep de-weeding. Every time I go out, I try and just pull up a few, but I'm struggling to keep on top of it. But yeah, I feel like picking up this kind of like the vlog, this the past couple of days and talking about self-care in postpartum has really kicked my bottom into gear in terms of actually following through with said self-care. I've thought about this a few times when it comes to me filming things. Even if it doesn't end up in the video, in the vlog or something, it honestly gets me out and about and doing things and because I want to film for it and I want I plan for it and it kind of holds me accountable. I don't know if anyone is the same when it comes to filming things. It honestly does hold me accountable, which I think is great. And I think I've mentioned in the previous video that I can be at home all day with Emily and Luna. And if I'm vlogging, I actually feel like I've spoken to someone more than just Emily and Luna. I don't know if it makes sense at all. Talking to the camera I think really does help in terms of like a social aspect. I don't know if that sounds really sad. <laughs> if anyone agrees with me with that just let me know in the comments but I don't know. I feel like I've actually had a conversation with someone and I know it's with myself but it's um it makes me feel like I've achieved something else as well. Oh my god I tell you what I must be going bold. I had really nice care in pregnancy and now it's all just coming out <laughs> which is wonderful i just had to hoover up down here just to get all of the hairs so that's nice the joys of postpartum before i wrap up this video i'm trying to think if there's anything else i wanted to talk about in terms of postpartum self-care but i think it literally is just making sure that i do stuff to make me feel good so I like to get ready every day, even if it is just putting on a little bit of concealer and mascara. That just helps me feel ready. I am in comfy clothes today, just because I can't be bothered to dress up too much. And it's a little bit cooler today, which is really nice. So, um, I didn't drink enough water yesterday. I really, that's one thing I'm struggling with, is drinking water. If I get something else done and then I have to uh, attend to Emily, then drinking just goes out of my head completely and it sounds so stupid because it's just such a basic thing that you need to do but it's so easily easily forgotten so I'm hoping when I get more into the routine of drinking I will drink more um, but I did notice a couple of days ago where I drank continuously for a, a couple of days I was thirsty for more water and um, so it's like my body was like yeah come on keep going um, but when I stop the the same signs aren't there so I don't thirst for water or if, or I'm not recognising it. Now I'm talking about it, I'm feeling thirsty so I do need to grab a, my bottle and drink some water. I think in terms of just like routines and stuff, like I said, I'm not stressing out about it too much. Emily last night, for the last two nights, did not want to follow the evening routine in any way, shape or form. Which is fine, we'll just run with it, but um, she's not, she's like dropped her evening nap before bedtime and I don't understand how she can stay awake for that long. <laughs> I'm like, is this normal for a six week old? I think I asked earlier, if you do have any tips for uh, self-care and postpartum, it doesn't have to be like beauty self-care or uh, it could be anything. It could be like mental, me mental, physical, emotional, anything. Just give me some tips in the comments below because it'd be nice for others to see these tips as well if they're kind of trying to find themselves or get back into a bit of a self-care routine in postpartum uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be postpartum either just anything that you would recommend I would really be interested in seeing those tips but I'm going to end this video here probably pick up the camera in the next couple of days to like I said film some homey update bits I didn't want to squeeze too much into this one because I've already like added a little bit of like gardening into this one but I felt like for me that was self-care that was a hobby and I feel like doing hobbies doing things that you enjoy is a part of caring for yourself because you enjoy doing it so thanks for watching this video if you did like it please give it a thumbs up and i'll catch you all in my next video Bye.